Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K, and this is the first half of April of 2021 spiritual advice reading. I'm going to lay two separate Celtic spreads. The first one representing career and finance, and the second one representing love and romance. So real quick, I'm going to move the camera from pointing towards me over to my tripod here so that you can see the cards as I lay them in your spread. Okay, so here we are, Scorpio. Again, I'm going to lay a Celtic spread, and I'm going to use the Psychic Tarot Oracle deck by John Holland. So, dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please bless whichever Scorpio I am reading for during this general reading. Sun, Moon, or Rising, Male or Female, Venus, Saturn, Pluto, Jupiter, and so on. Please bless this Scorpio with clearly defined messages regarding April 1st through the 15th of 2021. Career and Finance. Ooh. So we have a Scorpio who's been there, done that in the area of career and finance. And it is at the beginning of April of 2021 where you're going to be looking at how far you have come. The number nine is about an ending. Look how much I have. Look how much I've accomplished. Therefore, I'm now contemplating bringing a situation to an end. For I used to enjoy the journey I'm on, but now I'm going to let those memories of love go down through the river out into the ocean. For I know that something is ending and that as I let go, I can move into the direction of success being recognized represented by the number six. Now in the foundation, Spirit is bringing in the balance card. So with the number 11, there was a path that was blessed and now there's a realization, uh, Spirit's trying to provide for this Scorpio, that the next path is blessed as well. So that now is a perfect time to remain balanced as you let go of who and or what no longer serves you and give thanks to spirit for the beautiful and bountiful harvest of your life. Okay, so you're going to feel more balanced or know that spirit's trying to bring you energies of balance as you go through some form of change here in the beginning of April. Yeah. So in the recent past, we have this Scorpio who was uh, feeling a bit discontent and boredom and bored okay uh there is you know what, it, what how do you say that boredom basically leads to discontent uh, so spirit is saying or was trying to tell the scorpio to replace energies of boredom and discontent with the manifestation of something fulfilling and this particular Scorpio seems to be recognizing by the beginning of April of 2021 that hey, they have done just that. That they can now let go of that energy of boredom and discontent and can move forward in a very balanced energy, which is beautiful. Oh my. Yeah, because we have a Scorpio here by the second week of April of 2021 who is recognizing uh, their destiny. Wow. Wow. So the path ahead of you, Scorpio, is destined to be. It always was. So hopefully that'll help you in some way. Now in your actions position, uh, during the first half of April of 2021, you've got this very spiritual magical number seven. So spirit saying now is a time to stand your ground, be clear with others about where you are headed next. You're going to feel very balanced, therefore you're going to be able to move into the direction of your destiny in a way where you feel very solid, right? Very grounded, very balanced. Now in your inner strengths position, we have the infinity symbol number eight. So this is spirit saying we're giving you the strength to set those goals and meet those goals and to conquer everything beneath where you are now to where you want to go. Because the eight is about recognizing where you used to be and what you no longer want to repeat. So spirit saying like the elder or the lion, uh, it is time to set your prey and to conquer everything between where you stand and where it is you are headed. Because where you are headed is destined to be. So in the hopes and fears position, we have awareness. Um, we have a Scorpio who is 
hoping to come into an awareness of their destiny or they are coming into an awareness of their destiny and it's making them a bit fearful. I am afraid of this realization that I have indeed given birth to a beautiful new direction. With Spirit's assistance, by the way, we got the number three, Holy Trinity, Father, Son, Holy Ghost, helping you by mid-April of 2021 to realize that you have given birth to your destiny and you are very balanced and strong. Now in a three-card summary to my left for further clarification, with the same um, Psychic Tarot Oracle deck. Yeah, we have a Scorpio who has or is in the process at the beginning of April, sacrificing whatever muddy waters represent to you. Instead, going into the direction of blue skies and rainbows, recognizing a new path of triumphant success, able to step into a more solid foundation and free oneself from inner conflict and or defeat. So by the second week of April of 2021, uh, Spirit is trying to tell this Scorpio it's time to let go of old fears because we are guiding you into a path of success with the number six, a path of material and spiritual prosperity where you can look out at the kingdom of your life and realize where you used to be in comparison to where you are now. Yes, uh, as you move on from what was, you are moving forward successfully into that path of balance. So acknowledge your truth, right? This is my destiny. Through patience and planning, I have transformed. Therefore, I can leave behind a part of me that was sad and depressed and unfulfilled, and I can sprout these wings and step into a new beginning. So the first couple weeks of April with the number, number zero is about the planning of a new beginning before taking that first actual step. I feel like it's uh, the second going into the third week of April. Uh, we have this awareness of what you have given birth to. And Spirit saying, you can, when this door opens with the number seven, recognize that your triumph is freeing yourself from old energies of heartache and loss. For through your third eye chakra, you're going to come to the realization that when you have hope, things evolve beautifully. Yeah, someone here planted a seed with something or someone that was unhealthy or sad in the past, but now it's time to give birth and come into the awareness of the next chapter, which is your destiny. I'm just gonna clarify real quick with the Gypsy Oracle deck. I like using this deck because it pinpoints specific people, places, circumstances, situations, and or environments by which I am trying to translate for this Scorpio first half of April. Mm. Yeah, okay. So it is indeed time for endings. It is indeed time to be freed from your own personal prison. Right? Look at how far you have come with the number nine and free your chains. For some are going to be researching some Scorpios and their thoughts going over and over old memories of love. But Spirit is saying we're trying to give you balance as you sit in this space on your own. Turn the chair in towards the table and focus on what it is that will bring balance into your life when it comes to a new direction. For in the past, yes, indeed, there was some form of misfortune, and then you found yourself discontent and bored. It's almost like once that, that misfortune fell away, you still stayed tied to it. So in the beginning of April, Spirit saying, give thanks as you research old memories of love to what was. And know that the death of a situation, person, circumstance happened because it was destined to be. It was either someone's story or it was a part of your story. And I could clarify more about that in a personal reading. So in the actions position, spirit saying, stand your ground. I don't know what's going on with my cards over here. I'm gonna shuffle again because they kind of got mixed about and I don't feel right. Give me a card please for stand your ground in the actions position. Yeah, I am now only going to come into commitment with those whom are faithful. 
So yeah, moving into a direction where you can trust the people around you. This is a personal message here that someone, a path ended with someone because it was supposed to. And now you've got a stronger, more powerful, more spiritually evolved part of yourself and spirits giving you the strength uh, to set new goals. The strength to try to come back into union with a situation that was destined to end. Destined to end. Let it go. You can hold on to the memories of love, but it's time for success. So what are you coming into an awareness of? Well, you're coming into an awareness with a merchant card of some form of profit, money, or abundance. And you're fearing that or you're hoping for that. I think you're hoping for that. Yes. For you have transformed. You've gone through a transformation, a very spiritual transformation, and now you can give birth to... First of all, the awareness of where you are, who you are, who you've become, and what no longer plays a part in your life. So career and finance, also this could have been a person, but Spirit's guiding you towards some form of fortune. So remember to give thanks to Spirit, for they have a big part in that process. Yes, conversations regarding someone arrogant, Someone who is out to have a good time. A gift brings fortune, but it also brings waiting. Waiting on the realization of a truth of a situation. Okay, so that was for a few different people. Remember, should you uh, acknowledge some of these uh, messages, that's just spirit trying to reach out to you. And uh, via a personal reading, we can clarify why that is. All right, let's go ahead and look at Love and Romance for this Scorpio during the first half of April of 2021. Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels. Romance Angel Deck by Doreen Virtue. Love and Romance, first half of April of 2021. Okay. Okay, so Scorpio, right off the bat, they're saying it's your self-respect that's going to make you super attractive at this time. So love yourself first and remember, keep things light. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. It's okay to flirt, but don't give in to the lust of the flesh right now at the beginning of April. <laughs> For in your foundation, you have the red flags. Love yourself first. It's okay to flirt. For in the past, we had a Scorpio who really wanted to make some form of decision here. But by the second week and into, I'm hearing the whole second half, or I'm sorry, first half of April, it's a time to connect and retreat. Connect and retreat. Pay attention to the red flags. For in your actions position, there is a Scorpio here who is feeling as though someone is a true love. But they're also paying... If you aren't paying attention to red flags in the first half of April, Spirit's just kind of nudging you to do so. Yeah. Spirit is giving you in the inner strength position of the Celtic spread the strength to free yourself, to take back control over your life, to not lose yourself in the path of another, but to instead focus on your own journey, at least, at least during the first half of April. Yeah. Spirit's saying in the uh, hopes and fears position, now is the time to hope and have trust. That divine timing is at work in your love life. For if you're single and you take time to retreat and think things through, hand your worries to spirit and trust that spirit will send someone to you. By mid-April of 2021, we have it is safe for you to love. Remember, love is about patience and kindness. So as long as we don't give in to the lust of the flesh and hang in there, we can get to create long-term memories and plans for the future. And that is what will make uh, the passion grow stronger. Because on the bottom of the deck, right off the bat, I'm seeing unrequited love. So I'm going to quicken a three-card spread to my left, clarify. Yeah, there's a Scorpio here at the beginning of... Uh, April, who is going to be trying to keep an open mind regarding unrequited love, wanting to reconcile, um, but spirit saying there's going to be a calling for healing. So I don't know if you're trying to heal from the past or you're trying to heal from, I'm hearing jabbing words. So if someone says things that are kind of painful off and on, I think that's why spirit's saying take some time to retreat and think about that because you deserve real love. 
Cupid's arrow is aiming right at you. And they're saying, you know, we'll send love to you. It's worth waiting for. Divine timing has heard your prayers. So remain playful and let go of trying to control a situation. For by mid-April of 2021, we have a past life connection. Coming in, flirting, and then I feel like then separation. And that's going to kind of confuse this Scorpio. So for Scorpio, the title of the second half of March of 2021 video was Signs and Synchronicities, A Surprise Realization. And then Mars in Gemini, which goes on into and through April 23rd. That information is about a paradigm shift. It's about going in the direction of new endeavors personally and letting go of anyone along the way who doesn't deserve to walk this journey with you. Now, this is just during the first half of April of 2021. Now, to clarify these messages and bring in the astrological signs and or elements of who by which this Scorpio will be connecting with, during the first half of April of 2021, I'll be using the Rider Wake deck. Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please clarify these messages. Okay. All right. Yeah. So by the beginning of April of 2021, we do have a Scorpio here who is thinking about a soulmate. And Spirit's saying, remember, your self-respect comes first. So you may be connecting with someone who feels like the right one and or you're thinking of someone who either felt like the right one or you're hoping for the right one. Okay, that could be different for different people. Now in the thoughts position, somebody here is thinking about a light at the end of the tunnel, a beautiful home, beautiful family, um, and so on. And Spirit's saying it's okay to flirt, uh, but remember, we've got red flags in your foundation. All right, we've got the Wheel of Fortune, which is also the Wheel of Karma. So bad decisions are going to lead us in a bad direction. Good decisions are going to turn the Wheel of Fortune in our favor, right? So pay attention to the red flags, I think, especially in the first couple weeks of April. Now, Scorpio, uh, you may have been dealing with a uh, an older Queen of Swords energy in the past. This could be a mother figure. This could be grandmother. This could be uh, just someone who's very clear and decisive. Someone who may have air in their chart, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. And you were trying to make a decision uh, regarding a situation that maybe involved this person in the past. And it affected your self-esteem. But now you're starting to love yourself first. Uh, you're maybe connecting with someone new. And uh, Spirit saying, just pay attention to the red flags because the karmic wheel is here. Now, retreat and think about uh, a situation in the first couple weeks, or you will find yourself doing so, Scorpio. With the Three of Pentacles energies, to me, this is like gathering together with others. Could be at the office where you're connecting with someone, and um, Spirit saying, take some time to think about this. Now, the Three of Pentacles could also be a situation involving three people. And you recognize uh, that you're a third party or that there is a third party by the second week of April. And that's what's bringing on the red flag energy and then karma. Are you going to do the right thing or the wrong thing? Because there's going to be quite a temptation here for this Scorpio. For they feel like love is uh, this love. This is a true love. This is a romance of a lifetime. But we have a situation that either involves a difficult child, someone who's acting childish, and or someone who's really watching you on, or you watching them via the internet, okay? So trying to figure out, is this a true love? Is this not? Somebody's watching me, I'm watching them. Could be a third party situation. Could, uh, uh, yeah. All right, so Spirit's saying in your inner strengths position, we're going to help you to take back control of your life, not lose yourself in the path of another or others, but instead get right to the truth of a situation. We're going to give you the strength to move forward in a path of victory where you can cut away from who and or what does not serve you in your life so that you can kind of retreat, think things over, connect with certain people. This could be court. This could be just, like I said, a group of people, others, and step into a path where you see the light at the end of the tunnel, especially in the area of money or things of the material. So Spirit is saying, if you are still single in the first half of April of 2021, we're sending in the High Priestess. She has these beautiful uh, pomegranate seeds and she's willing to help you to plant these wishes. 
So trust that divine timing is at work when this card shows up. That means spirit is saying we are listening to the prayers you are making. So have hope that eventually we will guide you into uh, a, a new connection where you can free yourself from whatever uh, was stealing your peace of mind. So by mid-April of 2021, we have someone getting stabbed in the back. Uh, someone who realizes, you know what, I've been here, I've done this, uh, I've learned my lesson, therefore I'm going to rise up victoriously. I can open my heart and be kind to others without giving away my mind, my body, and my soul. Um, so we have someone here as well. I'm seeing a lot of this air energy who is maybe connecting with an air sign, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. And um, there's harsh communication and eventually uh, a truth. So I want to I clarify. Do I want this new beginning? Do I want this? Okay. Ah. Uh, Wow. Okay. Right away. This is odd. I got the message that this Scorpio felt like the queen of pentacles energy in the past where she had beautiful surroundings. He or she was a caring, loving, giving, comforting, motherly type energy. And that all got trashed because maybe of an air sign, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. Yeah. Couldn't sleep at night because maybe even you were worried about money. But Spirit uh, helped you, Scorpio, to listen to your intuition with the Queen of Cups energies. It's like you're in your element here realizing, I don't need to deal with this air sign anymore, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, that kept me up at night in the past. Instead, I'm going to make new wishes come true. Uh, I am receiving great abundance and fulfillment because of a previous marriage? Oh my... Hmm. All right. So by the second week of April of 2021, Scorpio, it's like, I feel like you're still kind of crying over spilt milk and what used to be, um, hoping that someone can come back who's not. They headed off in a certain direction. This could be a child because the night could be in their, I'm going to say 18 to 29. And maybe you're seeing a child go off on their own or you're hoping someone will come back. Retreating and thinking about what was, maybe with an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Connecting with someone who could be a judge, an attorney, or something, and worried about money. But look at eventually, after all that heartache, again, maybe with an air sign, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, uh, you're receiving the Ten of Cups. Beautiful. Uh, happily ever after. Something involving money and a wish coming true. And now you can set goals and meet goals to manifest whatever you so choose and lay down what used to be in the area of career and finance, home, or family. Yep. Your efforts are leading you into a new direction because now with the Ace of Pentacles, this is a gift from the universe. The Ace of Pentacles could be a lump sum of money, a gift of money, or a path that opens up whereby uh, you're going to grow and prosper. Shocking realization of great financial independence. Therefore, you can again go away from who and or what stabbed you in the back and know that it's it's fine. You can open your heart once again. Yeah, there's indecision about love here for this person because of what happened in the past. Gotcha. Should I marry maybe a Sagittarius? I just saw the temperance card. But I don't feel like there's enough there. Yep. Communication regarding a solid foundation and the celebration of that. And should I let someone in next or not? Spirit's got a secret for you. They want to bring someone or something to you. I'm going to quick, before we close, clarify the high priestess of secrets, of manifestation, and the divine timing in the love life card. Because I see it's safe to love and then the fool card. Hop, skipping, and jumping in an enthusiastic new direction. Planning, planning, planning. So we have waiting on a fortune that you brought upon yourself. You put a lot of effort in regarding someone who owned a service or some form of service or business. You're, there was You were someone's sweetheart who owned a business maybe. And now um, you're receiving a gift, a surprise. Or you were surprised about a situation in the past, and now you're 
Yeah, something happened and you were surprised. And now you're thinking about the truth of the gifts that come from that. <sighs> I feel like this Scorpio is going to get some money and someone's going to be drawn to you because of your money. <laughs> so that's another, that's another one I'm feeling. All right, let's go ahead and close with the uh, daily guidance from your Angels Oracle deck by Doreen Virtue. Please close by describing the overall energy surrounding the Scorpio on into and through the first half of April of 2021. Spiritual advice, spiritual guidance, life purpose. The purpose of your life is to serve in a way that brings you great joy to yourself and to others. Don't worry about finding your purpose. Instead, focus on serving a purpose, and that purpose will serve you. Helping others, in turn, will bring you beautiful blessings. Again, there was discussion about a child. You care deeply about children, and they respond to your love. All your children, including your own inner child, requires love, affection, and attention. We can clear and open your heart and schedule so that you can get more time to spend with your child or children. Also time to sit and listen. To retreat. To quiet your mind. For a quiet mind and body hears quickly and clearly. And this is a request to you, is to listen. What is it at this time that you desire to do with your life moving forward this month? You now have the opportunity, Scorpio, to write the script according to your heart's true desires. Once you clearly decide upon your true desires and know that you're ready and are deserving of them, they will rush into your life as if by magic. interesting and they're not really giving me a sign unless it's an earth sign virgo taurus or capricorn but that i feel more as a business and organization or meeting up with others in some way meeting others maybe meeting the person as you connect with others all right let me know and thank you guys for letting me know that these messages have resonated for you in the comment section and or via an email Thank you to those of you who have liked, shared, and subscribed. Should these messages have resonated for you and you have further questions about your own personal journey, feel free to write me for a personal reading at my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. I offer four one-half-hour video readings, and they are a one-month, three-month, six-month, or yearly reading, and my price list will be in the box below this video. I am offering the Spring Special, which is a 15-minute video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give it a try. So thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you to those of you who have liked, shared, and subscribed. But most importantly, to those of you who have continued to donate to keep my channel up and running. Take care, and God bless.